uh, I think we were close to 300, right? And um, yeah, I mean, that's really important to our game just down the road that we can attack the offense in multiple ways. And uh, I think that definitely helped us tonight. We got two great backs back there, so it's good to keep them safe. Mike, with, with all due respect to Campbell, was it a little easier playing them than, than opening with Clemson for your first start and then playing on the road at NC State? Uh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. They uh, Obviously, Clemson's a great team, NC State. Uh, that's a, I had a good D-line, and, uh, you know, we attack every week the same way. And uh, Campbell had some good players, too. And um, no matter what, the any, uh, any win we get, it's a celebration. And definitely going to run the ball like that. You feel like you guys as an offensive line are are gelling through this first four or five weeks of, of being in game mode? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we get a really tight knit group this year. Uh, we've been together for a while. And um, yeah, I think we're all getting along really well. And definitely in practice, uh, all the guys, like we know our calls before we make them. And just communication is really well across the board and hang out a lot outside of the outside of practice. Mike, did you guys say anything to the punter, Ivan, that he didn't have to do anything tonight? Did he uh, say anything or? Yeah, uh, I don't know if he was upset or happy about that, but <laughs> it's always good to keep him off the field, keep him safe. And nine possessions, except for the last one was your 10th possession. You guys scored eight times other than the missed field goal by Nick early. I mean, just that, that's efficient. I mean, how can the coaches argue with that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, every week we'll uh, watch the film, be some good things, some bad things, and uh, correct the bad things. Get after uh, Virginia in a couple weeks. All right, guys, next up we'll have Donovan Green, and we'll open it up for questions. Well, Donovan, just what was your view on the kick return and, and what did you see before we all saw it? Uh, so there was there was like three three major blocks I was reading and I seen I seen them take their leverage on the right side. So I cut the gap and I was, after that I seen it was open field. I know at that moment I was just gonna take it, take it to the crib. So who made the blocks? Uh, I was reading like, uh, so Bill's an off returner. So he takes the uh, the most dangerous man coming down. He got his, he blocked it out. And then I got Blake Whitehart. I was reading off him, he blocked it out. I just took it right off them. Did you have a kick two weeks ago against NC State that the coaches wanted you to return and you fair caught, the one at about the 14? Yeah, uh, yeah, the penalty and uh, I fair caught it on like it was I was already on like the 25. I don't it was just you know I just wasn't thinking I fair caught it. So that that's kind of a nice uh a nice 180 from from that to this week with a kick return touchdown. Do you feel like you you kind of owed the the coaching staff and the special teams guys a, a touchdown? Yeah, after that happened, you know, we talked about it in film. You know, I got they got on to me about it. So you know this week I was gonna be definitely be more aggressive back there. Donovan, what was it like uh, playing in front of more fans this week? Uh, it, it's always better to see more people. You know, you get to you hear the crowd noise after making a play. And, you know, from this point on, you know, I hope it gradually gets better. It's always better to have, you know, more fans out there. Make it feel more like a, a actual live football game. Did they still pump that crowd noise in like they did against Clemson, though? Yeah, they they still had it. They still had it pumping back there. Donovan, the other part of of tonight's game that looked better than it did two weeks ago was the deep balls. I know there wasn't as much opportunity, but how much of a point of emphasis has that been for the last two weeks? And how much pressure was there on you and At and the other outside guys to make plays on those balls? Uh, we just know, like, uh, as outside guys, we know that's our job. So in practice, you know, we watch our film. We we try to find every every point to break it up and get better at it. And, like, we know down the road, like, there's going to come games where we're going to have to make them throws. And, you know, we talked to our, you know, Sam, the quarterback, 
he, you know, break it up, put put the ball in the right place, and keep it rolling. How how's your back? Uh, my back my back's good actually. Yeah, after the NC State game, we had some time off, and yeah, it's better now. It looked bad, but was it not as bad as you made it look on the sideline or during the play? I mean, uh, I, I guess you could say that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'm weak. I'm so that's so funny. <laughs> good, we good, we good. Yeah. Ready to roll. Sam, your thoughts on the win? Uh, you know, all around just great execution. Both sides of the ball, um, obviously running the ball really well. Um, obviously on defense, you know, create a lot of turnovers. Zion Keith, a real dog from South Carolina with a pick six. I'd love to see that as a fellow mid-year that came in with me. I'm um, just proud of him. You know, he's come a long way. And then, you know, it's all across special teams. Obviously, Donovan Green's, you know, kick return was awesome. And, and then you see, like, young guys like uh, Ellison and, and Jamal Banks getting in the action, J.D. Cable. Like, I mean, it's just it's, it's fun games to – you know, be a part of, and especially, you know, with all the work that everybody puts in, it's it's cool to, this is kind of a reward for us to be able to play right now with everything that's going on. So it's just uh, great to, you know, capitalize on those opportunities. Sam, you guys are very balanced. How do you keep that moving forward? Um, especially, you know, the run kind of got you guys going and then opened up the pass. How do you keep that, you know, going in your, in your next game? Um, I think we just, you know, do our jobs. I think uh, there's obviously, you know, opportunities all across the board and in the, past two games we played and then this one we, we capitalized on most of them and I, I think it just comes with us doing our job and and, and then uh, trusting in the system and you know from there it just kind of works works itself out Sam how rewarding was it to see I know you guys didn't have as many opportunities as the NC State game but how rewarding was it to see a couple of connections on deep passes tonight oh it was good you know we uh, worked on it all in the you know the, the weeks uh, after NC State, and we've been working on it all year, and you know it's little little things here and there, and you know we just got it done, and it's it's uh, it's rewarding, but obviously still work work uh, to be done. The defense gave you guys two early turnovers. How important was that for you guys at the beginning of the game? Uh, it's huge. I mean, that's a that's a huge part of our program, and uh, obviously great field position. And I know we didn't capitalize on one of them, but uh, scored on the next and. Uh, we just got to we got to do better at, at, for us. If the defense give us the ball past the fifty, we gotta we gotta score at least get some points out of it, and that starts with you know me and, and our offense. And uh, but overall, I think we, the you know defense you know did their job, and uh, you know it's just good to see that and uh, happy for them. And you know guys getting turnovers, it's always fun. What was it like playing in front of more fans tonight, Sam? Uh, it was cool. You know, I got I had my whole family there. Um, you know, mom's birthday today. She thinks I forgot. So uh, wish her a happy birthday. And I got some, you know, a little card for her and everything. So that'll be a cool, cool little, you know, surprise for her. And, um, you know, it's good. It's, it's fun to, you know, just see families and kids are for the first time since June are seeing their moms and dads and brothers and sisters. So that's just, it's special. And, uh, you know, cherish it as much as we can because it's definitely a, a cool experience. You good? Sam, oh, come Sam, on. what was it like just kind of handing the ball off and seeing those guys tear it up for nearly 300 yards tonight? Uh, you know, pretty pretty usual for those guys. I think they're uh, they're special in the backfield, and um, obviously every time they touch the ball, they're they're uh, liable to you know take one for you know 80 yards, and I'm um, just happy happy for them. Obviously, it's it's a fun game for them when they're just toting the rock and making uh, big runs left and right. So. 
um, it's, it's, it's a cool, it's, it's always cool to watch Kenny Walker and Christian Beal make people miss and, and, you know, me daydream during the game of being able to do that at one point in my career. You had that one good run. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. It's probably, you know, probably, probably should have thrown it somewhere or something, but had to, had to try and join in on the action. Oh, good. Let me go say hi to my mom. People appreciate it.